outside company. Her heart stopped. You couldn't get a pulse at all. If I had to shock her back to a normal sinus rhythm, her pulse is 46 and her BP is 110 over 64. Olivia? Respirations. Do we have any? It's 30 and wet. I'm seeing some bilateral pitting of both hands and legs. She was supposed to check herself in the hospital. This is ridiculous. No, she was going to. She was going to check herself. All right, look. I gotta get her stabilized. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. She's gonna be okay, okay? <laughs> Another hug? Yeah. <laughs> that was for Olivia. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be taking the MCATs? How do I... She's in here. How is she? She's very lucky. She's stable. So you might want to keep those prayers up because somebody upstairs is definitely looking out for her. She should be in a body bag right now. Can I can I go in? See yeah, her? just for a few minutes. I need a little favor. It's gonna cost you 50 bucks. Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? Like I died and I didn't go to heaven. Is it true? My heart stopped. Yeah, for a while I didn't know. Emma. No, Emma's fine. She's fine. I made sure she's okay. I heard you found a little thing that shot me back. Yeah, I can't take credit for that. I was praying and it popped into my head. Remy used it and he saved you. I'm thinking what it would have been like having my life end right there outside of company. Well, luckily, you missed the lunch crowd because they would have just walked right over you to get to the chili. <laughs> Rick's mad at me. 
Yeah, I wouldn't trust him around your IVs or anything. <laughs> I should have checked myself in. You were going to. I told him that. I did. Can't get rid of you, can I? Nope. In fact, I was just going to tell you yes. Yeah? Yes, I will take the job as your assistant. I mean, I was really just going to tell you that, and then you rudely interrupted me by almost dying. <laughs> be honest with you. Not again. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me and for Faith. Pay off his lawyer. I don't care why you're taking the job as long as you are. We're going to need to talk. Because you want the good news or the bad news? There's good news. It's a start. Well, can you just tell us what the tests say? Your body's rejection of your heart is what caused the regular heartbeat, and that brought on the cardiac arrest. So we put you in a series of immunosuppressants. That's the good news. Are you enjoying this? After the way you skipped out of the hospital, the way you did, not check. No, I'm not. The bad news, which is really not that bad, is that you need a pacemaker implanted to regulate your heartbeat. I need to have another surgery. It's just an overnight stay. The procedure itself, it's not complicated. The question really is, Olivia, is if you want to live... I want to live. Die. Great. I'll schedule this afternoon. Rick. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you go feeling sorry for me. I was praying. You can pray on your own time. You have work to do. Emma has a ballet class this afternoon. You have to meet up with Decker. And I have a staff meeting at the Beacon. I need you to run. Okay, I will pick up Emma, and I will cancel the rest. No. If you're going to work for me, you have to do your job. Okay, but you're going to have surgery, and I should be here. Just in case, in case something happens to me, I want to be buried in Section 342 at Eternal Valley. My living trust is in the safe of the beacon. Okay, just can you handle this? Once we clean the area where we're going to be inserting the pacemaker, um, I'll administer a sedative. And once you're asleep, I'll be making an incision probably three to four inches. Could I um, have a few minutes alone with Natalia? Well, the best part's coming up. You really... You can come back and share that with me. not interesting. No. Okay. Later. All right. You wiped that look off your face. I almost died today, and you're worried about a meeting. But you can tell I just... I have never done anything like that before. You've you know? got to stop doing this. You gotta stop seeing yourself as this put-upon woman who's waiting for the next catastrophe. Do you even know who you are? You, you raised a kid all by yourself from the time you were a teenager. You competed with Harley for Gus, and you're the one who ended up with him. And then after all that, you give me his heart. You lose the love of your life, and you decide to give me his heart. And we both know that you hated me. I didn't. You're I didn't. lying. Your son's in prison, and you still haven't lost faith. You don't feel sorry for yourself. You don't, you don't run around hurting people or drinking too much or sleeping with losers. You're a freaking superhero, Natalia. So how can you be afraid of running a staff meeting? It's kind of unbelievable. I can do this. I can do this. That's not comforting. No, I was talking what? to her. Oh, I mean, I can't do it. I hope so. I will try to make you proud. I will. I just, you be okay, okay? Don't worry, my girls. Unless... God keeps bringing you back, you know. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep on praying. Maybe yeah, if you have time to fit it in. I will. Olivia, you go. You make me proud. I'm not here to tell you what to do. <laughs> See, you, you all know your jobs. You're all 
very good at your jobs. What I am asking is that we all work twice as hard just to prove to Olivia that we can do it. So, um, I have all of your schedules here. Um, so if anyone needs an adjustment on anything, just, you know, let me know. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just come find me, you know where I am. Just remember, we all have lives outside of the beacon, so if anybody needs to go home to their children, their parents, you know, anything, you know, we'll, we'll cover for you. Because I like to think that we're a family here. What'll Miss Spencer say? Well, she'll say, go to work. <laughs>